I would like to present this on behalf of my colleague and friend and protege, Dr. Paul Brown, who's the first author in the study, but whose daughter is graduating from high school, and I hope he's in the air to make the presentation later today. In the U.S. alone, somewhere between 200,000 and 400,000 patients with cancer are diagnosed with brain metastases. Radiosurgery is known to be an effective treatment for brain metastases, and for those not familiar with radiosurgery, it's a way of focusing the radiation beam into a very precise target, uh, analogous to using the magnifying glass to focus the light beams on the leaf that you burned a hole in when you were in uh, grade school. <clears throat> Uh, the problem with uh, stereotactic radiosurgery alone is that there's a high rate of recurrence of those uh, spots in the brain that have been treated, and additional spots also show up that were not treated. So there are limitations uh, to stereotactic radiation alone. And in fact, uh, adding whole brain radiation therapy to stereotactic radiation reduces the number of patients that have recurrence of the tumors that had been treated and reduces the number of new spots uh, that appear in the brain. Um, we know that new spots appearing in the brain or recurrence uh, do have negative consequences on cognitive function. Um, also, the new spots or recurrent spots may require salvage therapy and, the, and that those new spots can negatively influence survival. The other side of the coin is that whole brain radiation therapy also has its risks. So this is the classic question, which is worse, the disease or the treatment? So uh, back almost uh, 10 years ago, we launched this trial uh, for patients that had uh, one to a maximum of three brain metastases. And after stratifying for a number of known confounding variables as listed here, then patients were randomized to either stereotactic radiosurgery alone or whole brain radiation therapy after stereotactic radiation. The primary endpoint of the trial uh, was the uh, cognitive decline at three months following treatment. Uh, we used a number of assessment tools to assess outcomes, including serial uh, magnetic resonance imaging scans, MRI scans, quality of life measures as provided by the patient, and a cognitive battery of neuropsychometric tests uh, provided by the healthcare providers. Uh, in keeping with previous observations, again, we found that stereotactic radiation with whole brain radiation uh, was associated with fewer, uh, uh, fewer progressions in the brain at uh, three months. As you can see, with stereotactic radiation alone, more than half of the patients uh, had progressive disease in the brain, whereas uh, those that had whole brain radiation, it was about half that rate, or only about 25%. So in spite of the imaging evidence of disease control, there was no overall impact on survival in these patients as they died of other causes. The primary endpoint um, demonstrated that with radiation, uh, stereotactic radiation and whole brain radiation, there was more cognitive decline at three months uh, with a combination then with stereotactic radiation alone, in spite of the fact that there were fewer patients with recurrent brain metastases. So we can definitively say that the decline in cognitive function is more frequent with the addition of whole brain radiation to stereotactic. And specific domains would be were immediate recall, delayed recall, and verbal communication skills that had declined primarily. In addition to these findings with the cognitive tests, the patients also reported significantly worse quality of life measurement scores with the addition of whole brain radiation. So in conclusion, adjuvant whole brain radiation therapy improved control of brain metastases but had no impact on survival. 
there was decline in cognitive function that was more frequent with the addition of whole brain radiation to stereotactic radio surgery, and those declines were most notable in immediate and delayed recall as well as verbal communication skills. Quality of life measurements were worse after whole brain radiation. So we recommend initial treatment with stereotactic radiation alone and close monitoring in order to preserve cognitive function. Um, and then reserving whole brain radiation until the time of symptomatic progression. 